Abacus Auction, sale 232, lot number 900, collection of Fiji. And uh, I'm going to take it out of this stupid box. And in the bottom of it is uh, On the Stamps of Fiji by John Gartner, which is a very, very scarce little book. And I've got an idea I sold this to the vendor for something over $100. Oh, I know, a rip-off merchant. It was at auction, so he paid whatever the price was. A couple of commercial oversized envelopes. Very scarce. People generally don't keep big envelopes. And then, go back to the stamps here. Now, a lot of this has come from an original family correspondence. Um, these pennies have been removed from cheques or receipts or something like that. Uh, family was in Fiji at the time, and uh, it's the source of the Fiji Times Express newspapers that uh, we're offering. So none of this has been checked by us for perfs or watermarks or anything like that. So, uh, and yes, there were some printers' watermarks on some of these stamps. That Ninepence Express is an imitation. And then there's a, a pane of halfpennies that's been split into blocks. Haven't checked for postmarks, but also haven't seen anything. Oh, that's a nice page. Revenue, revenues, uh, Edward Pound and George Five Pound. Edward five bob, Edward five bob. So they're quite scarce, even though they're not the high values, which are rare. Uh, Edward specimens to sixpence. So there's bits and pieces in here. That's very scarce. The uh, British Empire exhibition uh, insulation that was used for a very short period. Couple of plate numbers. Back to Edward. Nice page of blue canes. Ugh, grotty. Blue canes on first day cover. Two and six and two shillings. Air mail to New Zealand. A uh, bit of more, bit of very recent stuff. And that's another one of those oversized. And uh, then there's a second album similar size, which is all QE2 first day covers and a few commercial covers.